Oh my god, what's this? It's more Sherlock Holmes the Awakened. Part 3, and we have yet to find Kimihia. Where or oh, where has it gone? Okay, where were we? It's been a bit. Um, Alright, we have a concentration. Dirty Summers was has hired men for warehouse work, specifically to carry crates of sailcloth. The abductees could still be inside the warehouse, which should be marked with red paint. Oh, that's right. That's Warehouse 12. We accidentally stumbled across before. I also need to find Warehouse 5. I can find 4. I can find 6. I can find 7. I have no idea where 5 is. This is our max speed. Sherlock seems to have lost a step from his days on Cordona. This is not the speed we want. I'm gonna find Warehouse 5, goddammit. I'm gonna do it. It's gotta be, like, hidden something. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The coppers even went over there. Yep. Yeah, sure, sure did. Ghosts it was in Warehouse 2. Okay, Warehouse 5. Warehouse 5. Where, oh where, is Warehouse 5? This is 10. Yep. Here is the cart. In the canal. Spade Chemicals, the actual, like, chemical factory, I think is right there. Or in this general direction. <sighs> is this where I swim? No, it is not. Okay. Here is seven. That is six. Four is right there. Five has to be back here. It has to be. It doesn't make any sense for it to be back here, but it has to be back here. Is this 12? Yeah, that's 12! Where is warehouse? <laughs> okay, spade chemicals. Let's start with this. Okay, there's three. I think, yeah, here is spade chemicals. Here is the factory. That's number two. We've been in there. That's number three. Right there. Map. Okay. The road does go around spade chemicals. Could Warehouse 5 be right there? I don't think I've been over here yet, so there is a possibility. There it is! Oh my god! Your numbering system makes no sense. Barrels of phenol from your company ended up in the canal. It has poisoned people. You will need to clean it up properly. Otherwise, we will inform the authorities. What the? We will call the cleaning brigade immediately. But I hope this can stay between us. You're blowing your smoke in my face. Was that... That's all? That's all I had to do? Going up through here... No. Warehouse 1. What do I do now? Um... Mudlarks are still awaiting instructions. Okay, so we have to actually go back to where the injured person. Wait, I saw. Oh, okay. Oh, now we have a long. Oh wait, no, I can fast travel uh, to here. Coffee won't go away. The doctor's too pricey. Yep. Okay. Uh, who am I talking to over here? This guy. Gentlemen, the doctor here and I have found the source of the contamination. Spade chemicals will take care of it. That's that's pretty good news. But how long will it take? And 
What about our friend? Will someone pay for his treatment? Pressurize the company. But for now, get rid of the stained clothes and rinse any phenol-affected skin. No one else should touch the canal today. Thank you. We'll do that. Let's go to the chief doctor for help. Wow. There's... well, that's terrible. I don't think we should have kept it quiet. There's no way that Spade Chemicals is going to make it right for these people. I also don't trust them to clean it up on their own. This is why we have oversight boards and regulation. Okay, well that uh, came to a swift end, but fair enough. Uh, we also need to find Dr. Tippett. Dr. Tippett's electro brain can be found in shanty towns. It is dispensed in a yard to the sick and suffering. I also got some more drill items. What did I get? <gasps> <gasps> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Look familiar, Watson? Oh wait, that other Watson was a figment of my imagination. Alright, guys. Where can I find... Oops. Pin. Where can I find this guy? May I ask you something? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. What are you talking about? You're literally talking about you it. satisfy my curiosity? I wish I could be a help, but I can't. Sorry. All right. In a yard. Somewhere in a yard. I have to be careful when I pronounce certain words because of my natural inclination to say yard. The coffee won't go away. The doctor's too pricey. Ah, is that he? This is he. This is definitely Doc. Where are we? The field hospital. Is this a... Yep, this is the cart I was chasing. The cart from Warehouse 2. So, ghosts, eh, Doctor? Observe. Unhampered by my Plague Doctor mask, apparently very young. It's a little rude. Almost, Doctor. Homemade medicinal recipes. Starting to think this guy is not a real doctor. Oh, and he's covered in the phosphorus. The man appears too young to have completed medical studies and therefore can hardly claim his doctor title. His hands are stained by phosphorus, most likely from the prop warehouse. He's carrying a book on homemade medicine. He may have good intentions, but good intentions are a poor substitute for expertise. The man appears too young to have a completed medical university and therefore can hardly claim his doctor title. His hands are stained by phosphorus, most likely from the props warehouse. He's carrying a book on homemade medicine. He's trying to make a quick buck by exploiting people's naivety and despair. I, well, honestly, uh, this could easily go either way, to be honest. Um, it's just a question of... Okay, I'm going to go with self-taught healer, because I have, to, I have to read between the lines here, because the information that we have doesn't tell us one way or another. There's no... There's no, no, none of that is definitive between the two choices, but I think that if he were a charlatan, he would maybe be trying to appear older than he is, maybe not even, maybe not by wearing makeup, but maybe by, you know, dressing up and stuff, and he certainly isn't at this point. Um, of course, I also don't see anything that says that he's been working hard either, and he is making patent medicine in a warehouse, so, um... Let's see. I'm going to go with self talk you. Good evening, sir. Are you the gentleman who sells that intriguing hecto brain beverage? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Thomas Tippett, and yes, it's proud inventor and perfect. Never mind. He's a charlatan. You, you seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. Helping, as in bringing to the grave. That is unfair, sir. The virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves, to stop coughing due to the endless smog, and to help children to sleep. Has your beverage been tested? By your peers or any medical authority? I am a doctor, 
And it appears that you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help, and drugs are expensive. My formula helps, and it's inexpensive. The product is dispensed from here only, so dose and usage are controlled. I looked into other patented medicines. They contain harmful or useless substrate, and they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You are a doctor. Take a look at my product. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I mean, he's got a point. I can show you how I work. Let me help people. Watson, what do you make of this situation? I, I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it, and people are afraid of ghosts. It kept them away until today. What I do is not entirely legal, but I do help people. Yeah, by keeping them out in an open-air infirmary in the rain. I can tell you... Oh, the patient has a high temperature and is short of breath. I can hear the patient suffers with their lungs. It's the consumption. Ping. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. Watson, you're the fucking doctor here. Why don't you, you know, help? Just a little. Just help a little. Back here. Uh, let's see. Looks like I have a choice. Thomas Tippett is distributing a cure of his own to the port's inhabitants. He seems to be on his own mission to help those in need. The police can be informed of Tippett's activities, or Tippett can go on helping, albeit imperfectly. Well, it's a tough choice, because, I mean, he's he's got a point. Patent medicine was not, not a proud time in the medical traditions and history of uh, the human race. And yet... Uh, obviously it is wrong for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing to be creating medicines and treating the sick in the first place. I th think... And I mean, look at this. Look at this infirmary. They're out in the rain, for God's sake. I think Tippet... Alarm. I think Tippet, I think you must be stopped. I think that this is not right. Especially if they have lung involvement, they probably should not be out like this, and... Doctors are expensive, but... It's the same thing as my attitude with vigilante justice. Just because the system isn't perfect doesn't mean that we should... It is admirable, of course, to do what you can, but there's an obvious disadvantage and obvious undesirable nature to amateurs taking on... Um, roles that for very good reason are regulated. So I think we have to inform the police. I think we have to inform the police. What the f Oh, it's pissing. Okay, never mind. Uh, there was a cop. There is a cop. Alright, officer. Oh my god! Look at this guy here! Holy moly. A big dog. Uh, we have to report it. Constable, my name is Dr. Watson. A man called Thomas Tippett has opened a field hospital nearby and is selling illegal medicine there. He is using Warehouse 2 for his smuggled product. Please stop him. I knew it was a swindle. Real ghosts don't look like that. I'll check on this crook right away. Because here's the thing he has the best of intentions, but so do other quacks, you know? So do other quacks. Like, if <laughs> his medicines, he said, contain no toxic material, so then I guess it's. It, it could be useful herbal remedies. It could be other unknown substances that we just simply don't know are toxic just yet. It could be homeopathic medicine. He could be selling water with, you know, a drop of some fucking herb or something in it. 
Um, it doesn't mean that it's helping just because it's not toxic. And if people are, I mean, even if it's cheaper than regular medicine, if it's not doing anything, it's still useless. Okay. My alarm went off. That means there's something I have to do. One moment. All right. On to warehouse 12. Pin. Map. Warehouses. And this away. Haven't heard anything about combat. Haven't had to do a uh, tutorial gun mission, as in chapter one. Maybe we don't get one this time. I guess we're going to find out, because if my evidence is correct, this place will be teeming with bad guys. Oh, we get a lock picking minigame? Okay. What am I? Oh, I see. All right, so we have. I have. Uh, I have to admit, I have. I have not seen. <laughs> a lockpicking minigame that looks quite like this. Apparently what we are doing is instead of picking locks, we are essentially making a rudimentary key out of a big piece of wire. And I have to, it seems, align the driver and key pins along the shear line by bending the wire to a specific height. So we have three pins. The first one, and I guess in this case it's actually the third one if I am understanding the orientation of this lock correctly, is shallow, then deepest, then in the middle. And we have to take into account the length of the driver pin as well. No, actually in this case it doesn't look like that would matter that much. So. If I go to the last position, this one may be this, this one may be three, and this one may be two. And there we have it. Oh, not... Oh, not quite. One more bump on each. One, one, one. There we have it. That's definitely unusual. Not at all like real lockpicking. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Beneath me? I'm trying to save a man's life here, John. Uh. Good quality, but torn in many spots. And water damage. Mold. That's why you don't leave sailcloth lying out. That is why. That is the reason why. As everyone knows. As everyone knows. Okay, what have we here? This crank saw some use. Somebody's been cranking it. Alright. Oh. Is that a... oh, I thought I saw something pop up there for a moment. Apparently not. Ping. Oh. Hand cart with the layers of rust will prevent any movement. So I haven't been using the hand cart. Okay, how about upstairs? Ping. Two things. This and that. Ah, there's a belt. Well oiled and well maintained. It for a crank. Well, I know where I can find a crank. I just found one of those. What about this one? It's stuck. No one's used it in a very long oh, time. Or maybe I just take this crank off. Nope. Okay. Seems like I could, but I can't, so it's fine. Go pick up the crank. 
bricks here. And we'll go use the crank up here. And that will allow me to do something. Crank. I'm gonna hang out underneath this thing that's hanging from the ceiling. Oh man, that seems like it's a dangerous game. A hidden passage. <gasps> Just as I expected. Oh, I knew it. I didn't actually know it. You cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish. Okay. Yes. Wait here, Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. Uh -huh. I'll scout the premises. Will do. Be careful down there. I don't know what it means when it asks me if I'm sure. It immediately makes me nervous that I missed something, but... How would I know if I did? Okay. Whoa! Wait. What's happening? Um, tripping balls. I knew I shouldn't have cranked that thing. Whoa. What? What is this place? Where am I? I didn't park my car here. Wow. I knew that this game would have Lovecraftian elements, but I didn't expect them to kind of appear out of nowhere so suddenly. I expected to kind of ease into it. I figured there would be an investigation into the disappearance of Kimihia, and then, then we find out that he wasn't just abducted for no reason. He was abducted for some weird otherworldly cult kind of thing, and then we get deeper and deeper into it, and then eventually it gets crazy. But we are just immediately on an asteroid orbited by yogg Sasoth. What are you? I see a square hole. I have no square peg. Strangely cold. Something is missing. Uh, yeah. You could say that. This cannot have been under the port of London all along. Is it an illusion? Um, the things in the cage are actually alive. I see them moving. Somehow it's so much worse. The only way forward is the abyss. The only way forward is the abyss. So I'll go back then. As a general rule, I tend not to enter doorways that emanate such light. Typically frowned upon. Is there anything else? No. Okay. So then there's only this. And something is missing. Strangely cold. Something is missing. Okay. Can I go back? like to go back now. I prefer the sewer. I don't think I can go back. Okay. Um, do I, I... Wait, I don't have items in this game. So I don't have... Oh, but I do have a new Vogel's glasses. No, thank you, evil. I mean, the glasses are cool, but... I, I prefer not to. Um, okay, uh, then... Um... That's Tippet. Oh, here we go. No, still, it's just a location thing. There's nothing to that. I don't have any new connections to make, so there must be something around here. Oh. 
lost me. God dang hat. Well, I don't have whatever this is. Ping. I don't have whatever this is. And I can't open the door. The only way forward is the abyss. Am I supposed to jump off? That's an abyss. That looks pretty abyssal. Does it matter if I do have to jump? Does it matter which side? Do I see anything? It looks like there's a ledge a long way down there. Hey, dudes in cages. You got any advice? Are you guys uh, also... Did you jump off the abyss? Is that how you ended up in there? Because I'd prefer to avoid that. Oh, I hear crying now, too. Goodness. Should I jump on this? That doesn't look like I can survive. Oh, it looks close. Oh! <laughs> I'm not ready to jump just yet, but that looks pretty close. Uh, although, something tells me, in terms of gameplay... It is not my goal to impale myself on a stalactite. Or, sorry, stalagmite. Those are stalactite. Uh, never mind, there's no ceiling. Mite is on the floor. Okay, I, I'm just gonna try it in the worst case scenario, I guess. That didn't sound like the right choice. Oh, okay. Phew, I didn't die. That's always what you want to hear. Uh, Alright, here's a thing. That is a square peg. It is icy cold and pulsating. Pulsating. Well, how am I supposed to get off of here? This is Sherlock Holmes. I don't exactly have parkour abilities. Am I supposed to jump off again? Oh my god. What is that? It's a lighthouse in the distance. I guess I'm gonna jump off again? It worked for me before? That still does not sound like the right thing to do. Okay, but I'm back. My heart be calm. My heart be calm. Be still my heart. That's what you want to have happen. Arnak, Kedish, what the fuck is that? Walk, 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 walk. And do we need to. Do we need to speed around this thing? Is that. Oh, every time I do that, somebody dies. Okay. That's neat. Oh, but it is getting slower every time. Okay, so we do need to speed run this thing. Okay, alright. Well, that was fast, so... That's not fair. Okay. I'm beginning to feel like we don't actually have a choice, that we kind of have to kill everybody. Because the closer I get to it, the faster it closes. What the f Is it just growing more people, or what? Okay. Clearly I'm missing something. Is there a way that we can block the door? Can we spike it open? Can I trigger it from here?
Is it growing more people? Because I have triggered it like four times and there's definitely six things. It looks like there's only two left, so... I trigger this. Alright. Now there's only one left. I feel like... I've triggered it enough times that there shouldn't be anybody left. Okay, yeah, when, when I run out of people, it fogs over and brings them back. Okay. Yeah, and I can't get... I can't get close to it. It will slam shut on me. Alright, so I am missing something. Um... Is the clue the concentration thing? Do I have to trigger this while concentrating? No? Okay. Well, the footprints come here and then they stop. So that indicates to me that I should be... Oh! Oh! The clue was short strides. Okay, I have to walk. That's what it is. I can't run. If you run, it will slam on you. If you walk, you will have time. Yeah. This is this is working. This is working. All right. Good, good, good. Now I am somewhere else. How? Oh, boy, that was uh that should not have taken me that long. Um, but it did. And I'm not going to cut it's it. It's harder so. to breathe here. I don't edit my videos. If I did, I would look a lot smarter, but I don't. So, I don't. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck is, is that? that? There's a goddamn Sarlacc pit here. I kind of feel like Kimahia's probably not around here. stares right through me. If I look at it and thing, it closes. If I turn this off, it opens. If I look away, it opens. There's the door. Okay, so that opens the door. If I if the eye is closed. I'm just gonna figure out how to get Over there, small pit. Is it these? Do they fall down when this thing is closed? Hold on. They do not. They do not. Okay. Uh, they look like they should come down to create a bridge over there, but they don't. So, it's over here. I hear something. I don't know if you can hear that on the recording, but I can hear something coming from over here. Like behind this wall or, or up this ramp. Can I get back there from here? Probably not. Okay. Do I have to jump into this thing? I don't want to jump into the Sarlacc. Oh, we're right next to them. See, they're f they float up and down, too. Yeah, see, they're floating up, and then they float down. And then they stop. Alright.
And I can hear something. It's right over here. It's right behind this wall or right above me. I'm going to try jumping into the monster. Just because it's the only thing here that I don't know what it does. And my instincts tell me I shouldn't. And to, I don't know. Worst case scenario, I guess. Let me drop a save. Um, I can't. I can't auto save. Or I can't manually save here. Okay. Okay. I take it that was a bad idea. was the right thing to do. Of course it was. Why wouldn't it be? Or this way and this... Probably have to jump off this cliff. That seems to be the theme. Kill yourself over and over again. <sighs> do I get a Boba Fett outfit for jumping into the Sarlacc pit? Because that would be awesome. Okay. This is the top of the ridge where I was... I don't see the thing that was making noise, though. Oh! Over there? No. That's where I came from. Oh, there's the noise. It's coming. It's here. It's very loud. It's gotta be back here. Yeah, this... thing... Okay, that caused the bridge to fall. So now I need to get down there, look at the eye in concentration mode, and step through the door. I don't know how much time I have, or how close I have to be to the eye. Not close at all. Shit. My head is already spinning. When will this end? There are two recesses. Two of them. Doors. Strangely modeled rock. Okay. Is there a difference between the doors? Circle four 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 four. 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 Okay, so other than that graphical glitch, they appear to be the same. Door doesn't have any identical markings on it. Okay, then we are gonna do this systematically because what else are we oh this is different. This is different. Darkness. On my head. What just happened? I don't know. I guess we will try the next door. And footsteps. Size 9, clear edges. Okay. Is this a clue? We see this on all of the torches. No. I see it on all the torches. It's indeed not related to the torch, because here we are on a random wall. Okay. Footprints. Door is already open. Oh, that is truly revolting. Well, there's one of them. Frozen. And pulsing almost like it has a heart. Have a heart, Sherlock. Oh. It's um strangely pseudo Lovecraftian, but also demonic. It's almost like Yaucha or I would say Geiger-esque, but it's not quite that angular. It looks more organic than biomechanic. 
but there's a lot of horned imagery, a lot of tentacles, sure. Many eyes, teeth, and so on. Doesn't look strictly Lovecraftian, although, you know, it's a large mythos, so. Okay, uh, do we just go back? Okay, so that's one. I guess we just move on. I don't see any footsteps here, so I probably should not go through the door. I'm just gonna open it up, and yeah, total darkness, okay. So our clue is the footsteps. We have to look for the footsteps. So no footsteps here. Oh, there we go. Ah, he's turned away. I'm not looking. Okay. Where's the other one? Uh, the stench. The stench. A strange stone. It almost feels alive. It's, is that dead fish? Same. Same depictions. Looks like a woman entangled in tentacles. This isn't that kind of game. Don't worry. Some kind of spined, many-eyed. A noble beast. Alright. Thing one, thing two. Press. Well, that's not exactly opening the door, but fair enough. Alright. Okay. Now where are we? Am I? Did I get out? <sighs> Looks like. John. John. What is it, Holmes? I am John. To the rescue. I'm here. Watson! Holmes, where are you? Those symbols look familiar. Last game. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Sherlock! You doing, buddy? Holmes. Holmes, are you all right? Uh, fine, Watson. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine? By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It was just a game of shadows. I'm glad. This place gives me the chills. What are we dealing with? Something that's finally interesting. That's yeah, just one way to put it, sure. Uh, L, or right click to illuminate. Mm, we have blood here. We are not interested in the blood, okay. Now uh, we have a statue of Cthulhu. Looks like the same small asset that we saw in uh, chapter one. I mean, this guy is extremely fucking dead. Broken nails, dried mud crumbs, so signs that he was dragged and tried to claw his way to freedom. A needle prick. Somebody was performing a medical test. Just kidding. It was probably a his right. abdomen is severely bloated. Well, he's been here for a while, so... Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. 
But this is not Kimihia. No, I, I, the illumination thing is a great mechanic, but the, he holds the lantern low. So if you're right next to something, you can't actually look closely at it. Just want to... Yeah, just wanted to look at the ligature marks. Um... Coins? At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. I know that pendant. I have seen it. United States of America. An American passport. Amos Colby. Someone okay. got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Uh, vaguely depicts a sea creature, perhaps an octopus. Perhaps. <laughs> Any manner of discreet investigations for you, we shall search the world. Northwood Agency. And we have a dagger. Uh, it is a Cthulhu-esque dagger, and I say this because there's a pommel that is a tentacle, but not strictly an octopus. The shape is like that cross between a dinosaur and an octopus, or to Cthulhu. Old blood stains. I've never seen a pattern like this before. Well, look ten feet to your right there, Sherlock, and you will, because it is right there. Right there. Does that not look familiar? Um, Kimia. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. That looks like an old box. This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Also, well, it's fucking rotten. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17 something. Huh. Germans. Dr. Watson. Germans. They're behind this. King to examine the statue. Did you hear that, Watson? I uh I hear you. Hey Watson. You know what this reminds me of? A little saying I like to say. Usually on Monday mornings get people in the mood for another work week. You don't have to be crazy to work here. But it helps! Uh, I think we got this. Oh, no. So we can examine the blood. I tried to look before and it wouldn't let me. What are you? A symbol. Mud intentional drawing someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle why some kind of symbol uh to show that something was hidden here possibly blood and human hair so somebody hit their head on the wall ouchies fine rope work not by a finer blade so somebody was over here bound with the ropes these clothes were crudely cut off someone an American, judging by the style. I would take exception to that, but let's be honest, even back then, yes, that's probably true. All right, ping. Uh, got that, got that. Down here, examine the symbols here. I see that there's a brazier there, but we're going to put the symbols. Uh, yeah, these are literally the same assets that we saw in the last game. But they carry about the same significance. We do have a... A Mars and a Venus symbol, but of course they're a little bit different. Um, they're not exactly the way they should be. Um, we also have these symbols here, which don't have any significance to my eye, but if I had to 
guess they look like symbols that would represent balance or order or something. Of course, it's inverted here. That's probably the way that it's meant to be. Uh, we also have a spiral, some other astrological symbols that are sort of the way that they're supposed to be, but not really. Some kind of chalice symbol, some kind of spear symbol, rudimentary phallus and rudimentary womb, if you remember your Da Vinci code. This one here is a complex symbol. It's cool, but I don't know what it could possibly mean. I mean, outside of the obvious potential religious connection, it is a cross after all, but I doubt that's what they're going for. Um, it's complex enough that I, if I didn't know that it was in this context, I might say that it is some kind of character to represent either a house or clan or possibly an individual. I mean, it's, it's complex enough that this could be a name, is what I mean. But I don't recognize it, and again, I'm probably wrong. Okay, so we have beds here. One, two, three, four, five. Five individuals sleeping separately. There's no fire for warmth, so I certainly hope it's warm down here, because they're not sleeping together. Meat and a wagon and incense and candles. They've been here a while. Um, then we got religious objects, a whole pile of rotten fruit. And what looks like or oh, shit. Yes. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. So they've just been sleeping and eating and getting all fucked up over here. All right then. Anything else? Oh yeah, the symbols themselves. What on earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen. Okay. All right. There's more to find. It seems. We've got three out of. Five locations. Oh, we got some over here. Uh, let's start. With, oh, this is going to be the same. Oh, potent. Yeah. Oh. This sensor has more narcotic. So it was six, seven, eight, and there's a book here we can't get. Nine. Holy moly! Ten. It's a sizable cult. Eleven. Twelve. At least twelve. It seems. Probably, possibly more. All right, casket. Um, a small blood stain, but not serious. Still not what you want to see on a casket, to be honest with you. Yeah, definitely not what you want to see on a casket. So Deep scratches left in a frenzy. They've been maybe using the narcotics. Or maybe transporting people in to coffins to avoid detection. Break it. I think that they have been transporting people in the caskets. Okay, what else? Back over this way. What is this? Tentacles. Eating seafood? They've been eating the octopus? That seems something you would not want to do if you worship Cthulhu. Alright, a big old fire. They were making soup. They were making seafood sukiyaki over here. Miserable food. Mass produced. Yeah. Couple things over here. What do we got? Bunch of clothes. Interesting patterns, definitely unusual. Dumbra, a staple of lecture men's attire in Nepal. Ah, shit. Gavrish is dead, isn't he? Fucking kid's gonna be all alone. <laughs> These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed, gathered from dozens of people at the very least. must have seen this one before. 
That explains my hallucinations. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Probably not supposed to head for the door. Although... I don't see the old, uh... What's it's the, uh, reconstruction thing yet, so... Maybe? But I'm gonna check it out. Holmes, are you sure you've left no stone unturned? Okay, no. Oh, we're not ready for that yet. So where is the... Ah, there, I forgot. I have to do concentration. Alright, let's start over here. Bunch of people... Unknown people throwing clothes in a pile. Yeah, that's possible. Um, I would say that's probably more likely. Although that guy was disrobed over there in the corner. I'm going to go with that, though. Is this supposed to be pushing people into the casket? Because then, no. It's that. Um. <laughs> I like how jovial he sounds. <laughs> um. I mean, of the two, I guess this, because it looks like there was a lot of people around here. And we have a prisoner being cut out of their bombs. And yes, with the way they are, they drew that symbol for whoever came afterwards. Um, yeah, that's what I reckon. Oh, I see. Whether or not he broke his bonds or was, or was cut. Yeah, he was cut out. That's what I reckon. Okay, last one. Uh, people just sitting there or scrambling him to death. Uh, that would be my guess. That would be my guess. How we do? Alright, it tells us which one is wrong, which is very nice. It's very helpful. It's... They were putting people into the coffins. Many people were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. I like the prisoners the... were kept in a soporific Sorry. trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. That one I disagree with, by the way. The evidence doesn't support that. He was strangled to death on this altar. Happening, Holmes. Calm yourself. He's got something about to crawl out of him. What is it? Cannot be. Eels. What is it? Oh my God! Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. Wow, that was a cool scene. Um, That's uh, really neat. As uh, a matter of fact, I was so lost in thought on it, I totally uh, did not know. I totally don't know what the hell we're doing now. Uh, red hair, dark boys, no boys, high whiskers, and a mustache in need of a wash and trim. Is okay, so we're, we're trying to figure out who the man is. is that... I mean, it looks like his name is Amos Colby. It looks like we found him. Um, no, none, none of this is actionable. None of this is has anything for us. There's no icon on them. Um, 
we go in for the Edelweiss Institute. Oh, and the symbol. Yeah, we have a lot of clues here. All right, we do have some... Who's the dead man on the altar? Okay, we can answer that. Um, because we have... Passport. Uh, and we have... The advertisement flyer. And we have... The unknown man on the altar. Private detective. That is correct. Okay. Where have the abducted been sent to? Yeah. This one... Ah, this one sucks. Um... Um... Where have the abducted been sent to? I mean, to Warehouse 12. I thought we knew that. That? No. Okay, Warehouse 12 happening. If I can... Tin box with... Oh! Are we assuming that they were sent to the Edelweiss Institute? I suppose that's possible. Um, hiring notice, looking for people to move boxes. Okay, that's not the right one. Um, Black Kittleways Institute, Switzerland. Okay. Oh, the cross, and that's a flag it this one yeah of course okay i'm i'm hooked this is this is really good this is really good um i do want to say um if anyone from frogwares ever happens to see this or anything along those lines or if anyone agrees with me um you know i i like the uh, the reconstruction mechanic in in this version is uh it was already pretty good in chapter one uh it's much better now um it gives a new reason to use concentration uh, it shows you how many scenarios you're looking for it shows you which scenario you're on and when you guess incorrectly it shows you which one is wrong or which ones are wrong so that is very very nice very very nice indeed the abductees are headed for the Black Edelweiss Institute established in 1700s, lies somewhere in Switzerland. Oh, I was wrong, I was in the Germans. It's the Swiss. It's even worse. All right, we have a research. We have a research clue. But where do we do research here? Some key information where your case can be found in the archives. Open your case, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, marked with a number. Press space to start your research in the archives. Okay, so. Searching the archive space. Well, it is in Switzerland, which I'm pretty sure is in Europe. Date of establishment is the 1700s. And field of activity or type of organization, this would be a private facility. The Black Edelweiss Institute is in Interlaken, Switzerland, established in 1789 by Professor Keller. The Institute specializes in mental illnesses and addictions. It is currently headed by Professor Gygax. Dr. Watson, how does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. What makes you think we should head there? It's all about the box with narcotics and Mr. Colby's clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put two and two together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? The Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. Are we really going to if Switzerland? We, we can still catch tonight's train. What happened? Whispers in the dark. We're actually leaving London. I didn't even think this was going to happen, so I'm excited. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Alone? 
Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. <laughs> As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them? A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged. And I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. The logic seems inescapable. Yes. <laughs> you, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Hatchet was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? Okay, why are we sending Watson alone, though? Change of location. Amazing. See what they do with it, though. Because chapter one was entirely contained in Cordona, and Cordona was huge, don't get me wrong, it was a really big island to play on, but it was self-contained. Jack the Ripper took place in basically one or two sections of London. The to show off their facilities were fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. That flies. Rude. Wow. Creepy ass castle in the middle of Switzerland. of madness. The Edelweiss Institute. Edelweiss, if you don't know, is a flower that grows in the high altitudes of the Alps and uh, to climb up the mountain to retrieve one was we'll seen as sort of a Rite of passage are a sign of bravery, and uh, Edelweiss were worn by German soldiers, and there are many wars and conflicts a little bit after this time, which is why I made the German connection before, but indeed, it's the Alps, so we are talking about Switzerland as well. Okay, this place is creepy. Hard to believe that it's actually open for business, and yet... Oh, we've got some uh, some of the horns here. Uh, they blow go across the mountain tops. I take it we can't go through the orderly. Why does he have an armband? What is on your armband, sir? This is far too early for Nazism. I mean, it's not a swastika, but I also kind of doubt that they would be able to put a swastika. You know, because then you wouldn't be able to sell this in Germany. It's uh, against the law there to display symbols of Nazism. Alright, let's start where we ought to start here with the receptionist. You are gray-skinned. Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. I was wondering if you've got word of my visit. Yeah, Dr. Watson. We received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? Um, yeah. At their earliest convenience, yes. 
I shall try not to take up too much of their valuable time. Wait here, bitte. Mr. and Mrs. Bronson, your girl has made remarkable progress. See? Take a look for yourself. My apologies for keeping you waiting, Dr. Watson. Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Do not be sorry, Professor. I too know the importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here. Skin Yet textures are amazing. It's the, the hair is what's off. To I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Admissions, yes. Visitors, though? I am curious as to what brought you to the Schwarzes Edelweiss. Word of mouth. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation proceeds it then. Everyone, your attention, please. Guten day. Yes. Hi. Hello. The name's Amos Colby, Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. Who's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? <laughs> you can tell me. By Jove, it, it cannot be him. Um, I mean, we lie, right? We're going to cover for our friend. Uh, <clears throat> right. Yes, I was surprised because that man is a, a, a celebrity. Yes, that's it. Very famous, Mr. Colby. Very convincing, John. Very eyes. convincing. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't wait. The longer it takes if you to wish to, to truth, recuperate, Dr. Dr. Watson, you may avail yourself of the guest room. But I have so much more to discuss. Nurse, if you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Herr Colby, from Northwood Agency. How unexpected. I am Professor Gygax. I would be happy to answer your questions in the examination room. Look, Professor, unless you got any clues as to the whereabouts of... Ah! 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 There is no need to be a No one gets me Wow, that was just a clusterfuck. That did not go our way, did it? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have lied. She didn't buy it for a second because John's a shitty liar. Let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My methods are rather more delicate. Alex Jordan does the voice of Sherlock in this and the previous series. He's doing an amazing job, this, especially on this part. Searching thoroughly. Then take him to the holding chamber. I need to decide precisely what to do with our guest. It's hard enough to be a dude playing another dude, but to be a dude playing another dude inside another dude, as they say. Alright, we got caught for sure. That was not the plan at all. We're in a cell, somebody sleeping. Brilliant disguise though. Just we've even seen the man up close and personal as a corpse, of course, but still. And yet even then <laughs> did not apparently have time. <laughs> <laughs> to, for a, a, a convincing reconstruction. Okay, that's going to be it for this part then. I guess next time we are going to... Yeah, that's how I feel, Sherlock. I guess next time we're going to make our way through the Edelweiss Institute and try to unfuck ourselves from the situation we've gotten into. So, Take care. We will see you then.